mid-July um, afternoon on Friday, heading out to um, dinner at a place we've never been. We're going what's, what's to... Is Saconet River? Is the Saconet River Grill or something? It's called the Saconet River Grill. I've heard people talk about it, but um, never been. I've heard it was good, and I want to try it. So um, we're going to go there, and we're also going there because it's nearby... Um, what do they call the Stone Bridge Fishing Pier? And uh, we're always looking for a good spot where people may be able to catch fish from shore. So I'm gonna check that out as well. Hopefully yeah. it's a scenic well, spot. Well, I know the old Stone Bridge, but I didn't even know about a, the, a re what they did. They converted it into a huge fishing pier. Well, you know they I, knocked it down, right? So, But I knew about, I've been there, I've known it. It's not, that location isn't anything new to me. Okay. The pier is completely unknown to me. So, Apparently yeah. they spent over $2 million and it opened like two years ago or yeah. three years ago and they used, I guess, Rhode Island College uh, students to design the park as well as the um, pier. So. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to check it out. Some video of that as well, but like I said, it was all new to me. I just knew it as the old broken up uh, bridge that yeah. it was. So, yeah. so we'll be there in a few minutes and we'll show you around and we will show you what's on the menu at the Saconic River Grill. Yeah. Catch you in a bit. Mac and cheese bites. They're mac and cheese with bacon and the macaroni and cheese with some pepper type jack. of bacon thing and some sour cream. That was pepper jack. Pepper jack cheese. That's it. Oh man, they look good. No, I'm They're gonna, hot. I'm gonna help to try one out as well. Look at that. They're spicy. It really is pepper jack. Pepper jack. That's deep fried with macaroni, bacon bits. Oh my god, how, how can somebody not love this? Look at that. It's good. It's really good. I don't know if you can eat too much of this, but, but yeah, even if fried. I have one or two. So you, you're not going to eat a lot because it's fried, but... Oh man, these are good though. They got what, nice looking steamers. Looking. They 
look like they kind of come from Maine with that type of shell. The shells are usually darker. Like are that. they? You try one. Yeah, because they grow in like rocks up in Maine. The, the, uh, they look they very dark. They grow in dark. mud, but it's very rocky up there. And, and it's served and get, with butter. And you get shells that are kind of, not deformed, Monty? but yeah, the shells are different. So these look like Maine steamers to me. The ones we catch around here don't look the same, right? Like when you get them and they're really in more sand, they're like this. They're a much lighter much color. Well, you know what? And the ones in rocks are much Let darker. Let me be the first. So try one out. Oh, wait. This is the empty yeah, and that's for your shell shells. bowl. We New Englanders know what to do with these. You take the hat off. And it's a sock. I, I like mine we dipped in. We call them socks. You call them hats? Socks, okay. But I like mine dipped in. Oh, it needs red hot. But I, they only have Tabasco. I bring my own red hot. However, I'm not going to wait for this first bite. Let's try it out. I don't want to drip. <laughs> I don't want to drip juice on my shirt. Mmm. Oh man, that's butter based with beer and garlic. Oh. Really good. Okay. It needs well. hot sauce, but really good. And I'm gonna try some right now too. So okay. Dwayne's so. turn for the steamers. And Make it get you close up. I don't like to really clean too much. Oh, I eat love them till I cleaned them up. <laughs> Yeah, he throws everything in because the... Because I like to put everything and let it all soak. Make a nice, like, so a swimming pool. So I just had pool. the steamer in that sauce, and that sauce was so good. Better than the butter. It had a beer-type yeah. base to it with a little pepper. Well, that's the other thing, too. Once all these steamers are out of here and cleaned... Just leave a couple for me. We could take that sauce yeah, yeah, yeah. right there and add just it Just leave to me that. a couple steamers. Oh, well, no, we could actually, take that and put it into the bowl. Um, but we well, just, no, no, no. If you're willing to clean them for me, hon. I'm just cleaning all right. Uh, I mean, it's only going to take me five minutes to clean this All plate. Right. We'll so. be back when so Wayne's done with minutes. the cleaning. Oh, and I still have this to munch on with go. my martini. Mmm. Back, and they're clean. In fact, Wayne has put oh, almost perfect. all the clams, and no, that is I put the... A, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch oh, in here. Oh, that's the... So that's both, actually like the you juice. You can take this cup right here, bring it right there. That is the juice of the I clam. Heard. Boil. And that is the butter. But he deshelled. That's the word, deshelled. What do you think? I cleaned. Tastes good? The seasonings are really good here. The seasonings are amazing. This is anything but bland. The butter had a lot garlic. of garlic and yeah. flavorful, right? And the clams are nice and clean. I got and they're, a little they're, tiny bit. Uh, and they're a good size. Let's see no, what one of size. those look. Yeah, they're really big, and they had big bellies. That's a little one. Let me get a better one. Okay. We look. New Englanders like our clams to be real with bellies, just like we like our lobsters oh. to be yeah, big clawed. And here's Hang one. On. Let's see this one. Wow, it. beautiful. What do you think? I think it goes really well with my little jalapeno jack. Hell, mac it's and a cheese. mac and cheese. No, it's a mac and cheese made with. Made jalapeno with, pepper jack. Pepper yeah, jack. with yeah, with jalapeno pepper jack, and served with a side of sour cream. Of course. Cheers. This isn't a normal meal for me or for Dwayne. We're just uh, having a good time on a Friday night in the summer. What's up? And uh, it's it's quite the indulgence, but this is so awesome. No, it's nice to get out to somewhere new here for us. So new yeah. place. Yeah, and did you, you eat uh, all your clams? No, just about. So, uh, have one of okay. these. Try well, one of those in the sauce. I'm you trying one of yours. And I'll film you. All right, well, there you go. Ready? Oh, yeah. You're already on. Oh. <laughs> Dwayne's going to eat most of this, but I do like the juice that comes with the clams. It reminds me of a Portuguese clam boil where they give you a mug of this juice and you drink it. Ooh. Now, your little Franks in there now. So there's butter in here, which is better than just plain butter, but there's a beer, hot sauce, garlic thing going on here that I'm all over. Well, I added the liquid from mm. the clams. So. I'm not gonna, this, trust me folks, I could drink this right now and eat it all, <laughs> but I ordered one. a very um, indulgent meal. Yep. I'm gonna put this over here and let Dwayne tell you how delicious that is. And I'll just take these and I'll add them right oh, to Oh, he, he should, it's better than plain butter. I don't think this was just plain butter, though. It's oh, you're right, buttery. it wasn't. I, it, it is a dry butter. But All right, so now you've just yeah. enhanced this by making it more buttery and spicy. But the that beer sauce that they cook the 
It's I'm a grab it. Not a clam bake, here. it's a clam boil, but yeah. I'll take it now and these are steamers. Look at that. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's really very nice. There's lots of them in there. Wow. Alright, well let me go work on these, enjoy these, and wait for our dinner to come. There you go. Well let me get let me get like just oh, a you little try it out? Oh, I already did. I'm saying I'm going to watch you try it. Oh, okay. About ready. Yeah, because they're very buttery and peppery. Yeah, they're really clean, huh? They're good. Really nice? They're really nice. Is there enough I, um, flavor in the There's a lot of flavor now breath? between everything. I mean, we've got, we got Frank's in there. you got the beer, garlic that they cooked them in in there. You get the extra butter added to it. I mean, it's got everything. We've just pretty much concocted our own they, version of the dip for the steamers. And they use a the lot steamers. of herbs when they cook it, so. In the herbs they used are very fresh. Oh. So far, it's been really good. I've never been here, but this place is really comfortable and um, inexpensive. The value. Yeah, the price is very good. I, first of all, we used to go out in Providence and we travel and I can't believe how inexpensive this is. Let me show you around a little bit. Let me just like pan while Wayne is eating. Yep. It's not a big place and it's in a strip mall here in Tiverton, but it's... Actually, like this whole place is the like... The food is wonderful. We have to come more often. This takes up the whole front of the place. Really it nice. is, but I will say it's cute inside, but it's the food so far. Oh, that's excellent. Brought us some nice warm dinner. They are warm with butter. Nice little butter. Are those warm too? Well, then, so, yeah. I think Nidhi is a bit shy touching them because she's getting pasta. Right? I will be too full, but I want my. You'll see what I got. But I got a what's called a Pirate's Cove pasta dish. Yeah. So, no, no. Yeah, no she's going to take three bites. It's I not don't even want to look like she ate no. any. So. I am yeah. eating my pasta pasta cove uh, di Pirate's Cove pasta dish. I, that's what I'm eating. I don't want to like waste stomach space on this. And I got the baked stuff sole, so with a sweet potato mash, but sweet mash, which potato, I will have. Which you'll help. With. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll try it out, and maybe I'll have some bread. So our meals have arrived. This looks very good. They did. She added the cheese to my broccoli like I was asking her. I want to just try yours and then I'll... You know, I see some lobster, I see scallops, I see shrimp. It's quite the little assortment. What pasta is that? It's very It's, a very it's rigatoni. One. I love so, rigatoni. Oh, doesn't rigatoni usually have lines in it? Or am I thinking of some... You're thinking of the big thick one that we buy like from Walmart that's dried. This is like a, a healthier version, rigatoni without any um, lines or, or anything. I am adding this because I already know me. Yeah. And anything that's pasta with seafood, it, I don't add salt or black pepper. I just like a zing to it because I'm me. I'm going to try this right now. This has scallops. This has lobster. This has fish. This has, look at the size of the sea scallop in here. And it has a lobster bisque style sauce with garlic is what I saw on the menu. I'll try it, hon. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm, let me just try the sauce with the pasta first. I mean, Wayne's getting impatient. Well, I want to try mine, but I'm giving, let's give it a try. Don't be shy. Well, I don't want to be eating and, and just, you're just eating two pasta tubes of, noodles. Oh my you god, but the sauce is on there and all you're eating is like a tube of pasta. Oh and it has shrimp, but the sauce is amazing. Let me try the shrimp with this freaking fantastic buttery sauce. Oh man. Mm. It's like a creamy lobster bisque reduction sauce mm. on a bed of pasta with all kinds of seafood. This is beyond amazing. And if my stomach will let me, I'm eating all of it. She won't eat all of it. <laughs> but you'll give it a good try. All right, let me try. So our meals are 
nails have arrived. This looks very good. They did. She added the cheese. Um, I'm not going to poke around. I'm just going to eat. So, this is the mashed potatoes, the sweet ones. So. Sweet mashed potatoes. I love sweet mashed potatoes. What do you uh, think? There's uh, some nutmeg, some brown sugar, a bit of butter. Very good. It's very Thanksgiving-ish. Like, That's what I love about it. Oh, so Broccoli cheese. with cheese? I think they added like a mozzarella. It's a little stringy. Good. Good. Fish and broccoli, it's quite a cheddar, though. So. It's okay, it's very good. And I know this is their crab meat stuffing. But like a... Oh, it's a, it's a lobster sauce? Yeah, I think so. Yes. And? Um, and very nice. I mean, to catch some salt. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Light stuffing, the crab comes through nicely. And um, yeah, this is, this is really good. Is My pasta dish of, is amazing. Yeah, and Dwayne uh, is, oh, Dwayne is gonna try it. Wait, he's grabbing it. Okay. It's so good. Even the sauce is lobstery. Well, that's what I wanted to taste was your sauce. It is, it's very creamy. Oh, here he Instead goes grabbing at it again from the rigatoni. Really good. It is. It really, it, like lobster, the lobster comes through. It's almost like a thick lobster bisque is the sauce base for this yeah. big seafood pasta dish. And it's called um, the, cove, the Cove Seafood Pasta. There he goes. Folks, you can tell we're really hungry. You should try this. Oh no, I am trying that. There is nothing that I love more than a good mashed sweet potato. First of all, I love sweet potatoes. Somehow, I love them even more than a regular potato, but the fact that they can mash it. It's like. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Yeah. No, they made it like the way you make uh, butternut squash. Even better. You know, with that, with the brown sugar and whatnot. It's really good. This is We're great. going to dig into our meals and we'll catch you at dessert now. Absolutely. All right. Jeez. See you in a bit. Totally out of season. But totally awesome. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Let me see if this is as good as one in the fall. Pumpkin pie. That's a real New England pumpkin pie. We don't, let's put it this way. Pumpkins are not in season. So it's as real as it can be. Although I don't really find much difference between canned pumpkin and fresh pumpkin when you're making something like a pie. And? I couldn't even tell you the difference. I could put two side by side and could not tell them apart. This is... It's just this how doesn't people taste, season it. This doesn't whatnot. taste as fresh and creamy as pumpkin pie in season. It tastes more like, I don't know, maybe the pie is frozen or maybe the pumpkin is frozen. But it's oh, yummy. Yeah. Well, there you go. And I like yummy. Right? Yeah, it's good. It's got the nutmeg and the cinnamon. It's got everything we need. It's, it's got all those. Filling, it's filling a void in the flavor palette of the summer that you want to fill. That gives you nostalgic feelings about the fall and Christmas. Of course, I'm still going back for another bite, but there you go. it's not. You can tell it's been frozen. Right? Well, it's just cold right now, too, though. Maybe cold. I don't know if I can tell it's Maybe been frozen. Maybe it's fresh. And has been frozen. I don't think the pie itself has been frozen. You don't think? No. Okay. Well, it's just hey. Whatever it is, this is good and delicious. Yeah. And I am going to attack this it's right really after good. Dwayne turns, turns the camera off, so we're all okay. good. Well, you attack it. I won't let you go. Hey everyone, that was uh, Sakonet River Grill, and it was really good. The food excellent. was excellent. I mean, everything. We'll be it's here really... again. Oh yeah, we'll be back. Prices were great. I mean, it was just a really, really well worth the trip, and definitely one that we'll make again. So, But we're going to do a quick close. We're going to go check on uh, that, that pier. Maybe I'll give you a quick shot, show you what's going on over there. But uh, I'm trying to do something, and I'm racing the tide. So we're going to move, and we'll finish up over there. Thanks for tuning in. Wayne and Nadia, Food Travel Fun. 
Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell. See you soon. Well, it might get a little windy in here, but this is Grinnell's Beach over here on this side. And it's actually one of the few places in the area where there's actually sand. And this is Tiverton, Rhode Island. And we're going on this stone bridge, which just used to be a beat up, dead old bridge. And now it is this huge fish fishing pier. And I wanted to see what our little rules are. And you can see more of the beach over here. But this is awesome. It was really nice. They did a lot of work. Okay, we'll do. Alright guys, this is going to be really windy do it on, yours. on this mic, so I'm trying to cover it up a bit. Go ahead. And yeah, let me turn it away. That might help the breeze. There's, there's a bunch of guys fishing here off the beach. And what we just found out is this big, beautiful, long pier you can't fish off except for the little pad on the end. Here, let me walk over there so and I'll show you. So it's a pier, not you a fishing fish pier. Off these rocks where this guy it's is. A Walking or pier. off this pad that they built down here where there's one guy's fishing. But walking this, pier, but not fishing it. pier. This is your space. And there's a little old man right there fishing. Yeah, he's in the rocks. But and what happens when the tide comes in over there? Then you don't go in those rocks because the tides, this is half tide. Full tide will be just about covering those rocks. So. Okay. But yeah, that's it. This is uh, Tiverton. Uh, this guy's going for scop. Oh, I like scop. Does he have some? No, but he's baited up and hooked for scop. Okay. Any luck with scop? No. no. Anything tonight? <laughs> that, that's what he was saying too. Stuff's just stealing the bait, little guys. Ah, oh, that's tough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, good luck.